there's already more than half a million drones that have been registered in the US. There's nothing quite like a flying robot delivering a package into your hands within minutes of placing an order. That is a magical experience. That magical experience isn't as far away as you might think. Flirty is the first company to get government approval to make deliveries by drone, beating out Amazon and Google. DZ, IP, uh, are you ready to go? Yes, go. Okay, we are clear and ready for you to deliver. We're in the desert outside of Reno, Nevada, at a secret site where this small startup regularly tests its delivery drones. And what is the scenario we're thinking about today? Tell us about that, what, what the customer application of this would be. So the customer application is simple. You open your smartphone, you push a button in order to order over-the-counter medicine. We load up a package, they take off vertically. They fly based on predefined GPS coordinates to the customer's home location or smartphone location. And then when the customer's ready to receive the delivery, the drone hovers at about 50 feet, which is above trees, above buildings, and above power line. So it was at 100 feet, it paused, and now it's coming down to 45 feet to hover and lower the package to us. We've designed custom packaging to ensure that cold food stays cold, hot food stays hot, and delicate foods stay unbroken. So Spencer, another flirty drone delivery. Chili dog here, pink bismuth here. Exactly. Okay. We then fly back and land autonomously where we took off from, reload the drone and conduct that delivery again. All the testing in the desert is paying off. Flirty drones are already delivering Domino's Pizza in New Zealand, and in July, Flirty teamed up with 7-Eleven to make the first drone delivery of over-the-counter medicine to a customer's home in the United States. When we're operating in a neighborhood near you, we'll be able to deliver to you within 10 minutes of you placing an order. We've designed and built our drones to carry up to five and a half pounds for up to 10 miles. They're hexacopters powered by lithium polymer batteries, so they're electrically powered green aircraft. Right now, Flirty is beating the tech goliaths in drone delivery. The next step is turning that head start into profit. To do that, Matt Sweeney will have to convince a lot of shoppers that a magical experience of a box dropped from the sky is worth a premium delivery fee. Why does society need drone delivery? If you're hungry, would you want your pizza delivered by drone or, or, or by cars during peak hour traffic? And if your kids are sick, would you want the over-the-counter medicine delivered from 7-Eleven within 10 minutes by flirty? Or would you prefer load your kids into a car at night and take them down into the store? And within several years, drone delivery will be as common as seeing a truck delivering packages on the street today.